Do you want to improve the models that you make as an architecture student? Today, I've got seven model making hacks for you. These are seven of those light bulb moments I've had as an architecture student. All of the small things that make huge differences. And these seven hacks are from the new online interactive architecture course, 70 Hacks for Archie Students. If you haven't checked that out yet, I highly recommend you do. I spent over six months on it and it is completely free. It's packed with all these small things that make huge impacts on the way that you work as an architecture student. So with that out the way, let's go ahead and move into the seven biggest model making hacks for Archie students. Model making hack number one, just how you win any kind of sport by scoring, say if it's soccer or ice hockey or football, you win the sports by scoring. And that's exactly how you win model making as well, by scoring. Unless you have a really, really, really sharp blade, you do not want to try and cut your material in just one cut. The reason for this is because you end up having all these jagged edges and your material will look like it's just been hacked out with a knife. Instead, you want to score your material with your blade. And this involves starting with just light guiding cuts. There's no rush. You don't have to be heavy on your knife. Just nice and light. After making two to four of these light guiding cuts, you can start to increase the force you put into your cuts to progressively, and that's the key word here, progressively cut through your material. With the grain. With the grain. With the grain with the grain. You see what I'm doing here? Light guiding cuts. You let the tool do the work. You let the tool do the work, you see? So the second model making hack for architecture students is well, while we're on this topic of cutting, it's about staying sharp. It's incredibly important to keep your blade sharp when model making. Using a dull model making blade will not only ruin the material you're using, but it will require a lot more scores to cut through the material. And it will ultimately ruin your life. No exaggeration. If you're using an X-Acto style knife, these blades are relatively cheap and disposable. Otherwise, if you're using a box cutter styled knife, the blades are meant to be snapped off. So, do it regularly. I really don't like this, I'm gonna have just blades all over my room, I'm not gonna be able to find where they all went. So, keep your blades sharp, but just be safe when you're doing it. My third model making tip for you is to populate your models. The final touches on a model is what makes it stand out. The difference between a bad looking model and a good looking model is usually just the final touches or the post production. By populating your models using scale trees and people, it gives the audience, which could be your client, your teacher, your friends, your family, your pet dog, an ability to realize the model in terms of its size compared to real life things. Not only does it help your audience understand your model, but it makes it a whole lot more interesting and engaging. If you compare a blank model with no context to a model populated with scaled trees and people, the latter will always look better. And a little bonus tip here, as for the trees, it's important to remember that you're not a landscape architect. Unless you are, then by all means, disregard this. You don't need to make your model look like a hobby train set. I suggest using dead tree stems that you find outside or use some kind of metaphoric material to represent your trees. I would always avoid using model trees or plants or people People that you find from the local art shop. This can make your model look pretty unprofessional. So model making tip number four for architecture students is to use the right tools. You want to cut with a metal ruler rather than a plastic one. The reason for this is because if you're cutting along on your plastic ruler and you accidentally slip, you're cutting into that ruler. That will not happen with a metal ruler. And on that topic, if you slip and mess up and you end up cutting into your table, that can easily be avoided by using a cutting mat. Grab yourself a cutting mat. And finally, I recommend getting an exacto style set with different blade types so that it's not just one blade. This can make all the difference and it's a lot better for doing precision model making. The next model making tip is to use the left tools. This hack is to encourage you to think outside the box when model making. You might be thinking, what the hell are the left tools? Well, they're not the right tools in the sense that they're not your conventional standard knives, model making mats or cutting materials, but they're also not the wrong tools. They're just different. For the last model I made being a curved timber structure, I thought about using some tools that I never really thought about using before. This included some gardening secateurs, a saw, some screws and screwdrivers, and some other tools I found around the house and in the garage. Not only did it help me save time when doing model making, but it was just a lot more efficient using some of these tools. 
and they were just tools that I never really thought about using before. Architecture hack number six for model making is to prepare your glue. Now, this might trip you out, but I actually don't enjoy model making that much. Don't get me wrong, I think it's an amazing skill to have and to know how to do, and it has its unique benefits in the world of architecture. But what gets me the most is the delay it has on your creative skills. Every time you want to put an idea together, you have to wait for the glue to mold and set in before you can move on to the next step. With digital modeling, it's a lot more fast paced and there's no waiting in between each task you do. But I discovered a few ways that you can minimize this waiting around of the glue to dry. So first of all, rather than waiting around 20 minutes for your glue to dry while you hold two pieces of your model together, place some of the glue on a piece of paper or on a sticky note or something like that beforehand and wait 20 minutes before using it. Fresh glue is not as tacky as say glue that's been left to set for some time already. If you wait long enough for the glue to prepare, it will already be grippy when you go to use it. The two pieces will join almost immediately, meaning you can go spend your time doing something else rather than holding two pieces together waiting for them to dry. So after waiting for your glue to prepare, this moves on to the seventh model making hack for architecture students. All you need now is something to clamp those pieces together. That way you can move on to the next step of model making. I recently found that bulldog clips or these clips that you use to hold pieces of paper together are extremely useful when model making. Alternatively, you could use pegs, pins, rubber bands, or anything else you can find to hold these pieces together. So all you have to do is prepare your glue, hold your pieces together and bind them with a bulldog clip or alternative, and then move on to the next piece. It's as simple as that. So my final piece of advice or my final hack for model making as an architecture student is that you're creative and you should be creative. Don't be limited to using just balsa and white card. Be experimental with the materials you choose. Use your creative and architect mind to think outside the box and choose some wacky or some different materials that you wouldn't usually use. Rather than going to the art shop, just look around your house and see if you can find any materials that you'd like to use. I really do hope you guys found that video helpful. Thank you so much for watching it all the way to the end. I always appreciate you guys that do. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you go check out the new free architecture course, 70 Hacks for Archie Students. I guarantee you will not be disappointed by it. So do go check it out, it's completely free. If you haven't already and you don't wanna miss out on future videos, press that subscribe button down below and also feel free to leave a comment with any thoughts or ideas you have regarding model making hacks for architecture students. So thank you guys once again and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.